hopefully oh wait i didn't even change the title um uh i, I don't know uh uh i uh sa uh something something sac something that I can't spell. Is that so sacrificed? I don't fucking know. I did doing. I did do English. I passed English, but I'm still stupid. Oh, I did spell sacrifice right. Nice. <clears throat> Hope that boot up then. Maybe I give the stream a moment to quote unquote warm up, which for some reason is a thing my I think exists. I'm too dumb. So uh. I guess. <laughs> just brain no work. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, God. Okay, we go, we go, we go. Audio all good? I can hear everything. Okay, right. Hey, guys. It's your boy, Flame Ninja. Hope you have a fairly good day. I'm having a fairly good day myself. One sec before I actually this up. Right, we all good, we all good. And today, we are going to be continuing with Inscription. Last time I started Inscription, so this time we are continuing Inscription. Very simple to understand. I feel like you, you start and then you continue. It, it just makes sense. Uh, but yes, we'll be continuing Inscription today. Uh, hold on, apparently there's... A breaking news. Royal family, like, Queen... Yeah, I know, the Queen's been dead for, like, a fucking week or something at this point. Like, I... I, I know. <laughs> you don't have to tell me, computer. Uh, but yeah. Uh, as for what I've been up to myself, uh, I have returned to playing Cyberpunk, because of course I watched, I finished the anime, Cyberpunk Edge Runners now. Uh, I give it a good, I give it hard recommend. It's very good. Uh, uh, only warning is that it is very mature. It has some sex, re sex stuff in it, like, oh, look, boobies, stuff like that. Uh, it also has quite a lot of, uh, violence and gore. Not really, like, it doesn't have, like, very detailed or, like, very, like, off-putting gore. Like, there's no, like, oh, sawing someone open while they're alive or, like, a detailed gut. No, it's, it's very over-the-top silly gore, so it's still there, but it's, it's nothing, like, to worry about. No, like, sticking needles in people's eyes, which is, like, the fucking worst thing you can do. Um, but yeah, I do recommend it overall. The story is really good. Uh, the only criticism, because of course the rest of that is just a warning, not criticism. The only criticism I really have is that I wish it was longer. Uh, not really just in the sense of like, oh, I want the story to keep going. Which, yeah, I mean, I, I would enjoy that. I mean, most stories, people would enjoy that. Um, but mainly in the sense of uh, it feels a bit rushed here and there. Uh it feels like they wanted, like, a nice 13-episode anime or, like, maybe even, like, 26 if they wanted to fully commit. It would have been nice if they just had more episodes so that they could properly flesh out each of the characters. Um, but over, I, I still definitely... It's 10 episodes. It's very easy. It's on Netflix. You can just zoom through it, and it, it's a very good uh, ride. Uh, so let's open up the game. <laughs> While I'm uh, just sitting here pissing about. Uh, back in inscription, we just, we, I guess we started a new run, I'm pretty sure. I think last time I played it, I did just get fucking oofed. I lost. Um, so we'll be, of course, jumping back into that. Uh, but yeah, as me playing Cyberpunk again, it's been okay. Uh, I've mainly just been pissing about shooting stuff, because I find that is the most fun bit. I've also started up, like, a proper side quest chain, which is gonna be nice, because I was in Cyberpunk, the main story doesn't even like get the, the reason i stopped playing cyberpunk was because the main story bored me <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i hate everyone none of the characters are interest. like i don't vibe with any of the characters i generally just like yeah i don't like any of this fuck you um but yeah uh i have returned to it and i've just been enjoying fucking about doing random shit instead of actually progressing and doing side quests i feel like i want to do all the side quests because i think i'm actually really far into the main story which is really funny because i was like at least three quarters of the way through the story i think when i looked it up by the time i just went nope uh so yeah but let's jump over into scription is apparently why i ripped the scene as because i'm stupid 
Uh, oh my god, wait, can I... No, I, I, I didn't talk about 3.1 last time, but uh, I did talk a bit about Genshin 3.1. Uh, let's have a look. Beehive. I like the bee. That one's really fun if you get, like, big hands, which you can get. And I like the idea of having, like, a controlling thing. But something that, like... Oh, I feel like that is just so nice. Just, again, advantage generating shit. Uh, that is get new statues. That is boost a card. If I can boost my beehive straight away with attack... It's two health. I mean, if I can just make my fucking, uh, my beehive super bulky, that would be really fun. Just having something that just sits there. Oh, you, this is the thing where you have a 50% chance. Oh, you can just keep going. Oh my god, that's a 6 health B thing. That is just going to tank and soak damage. I don't even get it in my starting hand. Well, shit. Uh, 1, 2, 1, 2. I think we just do Squirrel into Stunted Wolf. Because it's a decent starting card. Decent, just 2-2. Two, two. Can hit, get hit, you know, do your business. Uh, I think we just save until we need to do anything. Give me Beehive. Thank you. Uh, I can probably just win via that, but I'm going to... Oh, no, because it doesn't matter if I do that. Uh, I mean, might as well... I don't want to push victory too fast. Oh, no, but I can push victory like this, actually. Hold on. No, no, no. This is worth it. Because I'm going to deal three damage, get right to the end, and then I get a summon an extra minion and push for victory. With a bunch of overkill damage. Booyah! Big overkill. Right, new card, please. I shouldn't have gone this way. There's a fucking statue. <gasps> Magpie is a search up a cost two. <sighs> Being able to search is such a powerful. Moth! Oh, look, it's Moth who's. Mm, I'm gonna take Moth. Uh, death card. Just. I, I, having an early death card seems fine. Literally can't gain anything. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. He gives me Pack Rat. Very nice. Just free 2-2. Two, two. Can clog up the deck, but not too bad. Submerge on Deers. That can be real bad. Well, you're going to move behind there, and then you're just sort of... I mean, no, you're going to go there, and then you're not going to be able to move. Or you're going to move over here. I can't predict where you're going to go. So I think I'm just going to place a stolt here. Because I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen to that minion. I am an idiot. Okay, now... Oh, wait. I can't even do anything with that. Well, I'm just going to have to keep going. Now he's going to deal one damage. Yep. And then he flips back. Yeah, I need a new card. Stunted Wolf. Bloody perfect in this situation. And now that I've done the death cards, I can play Moth over here. Uncontested with three damage. I mean, that's a victory right there, actually. I didn't even realize that. I should have held on longer. New card. Ooh. Yeah, fuck it. I'll take that. That could just be interesting. This is my first ever high-cost card I think I've ever used. Right, here comes a big thing. Squirrels either evolve or drop a fuck ton of bones. Or I can take birds for future. I think bones is the best one because that means I can instantly summon two of my other cards. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm pretty sure that's bones, right? Oh shit, no, I didn't mean to stand up. Bones. Yeah, I, that's... That is what? Dies. Yeah, it, it says dies, meaning I feel like any sort of source. So I think we just kill my fucking squirrel, and then we lock the porcupine with my beehive. Booyah! Okay, so it does count for anything. Okay, so let's go for a bone-based deck then. 
getting those free bees is just going to be so nice. Especially in a kit situation where I can um, drop big fuckers on the board. Oh my god, I've got so much fucking resources. Again, just getting constant bees is just such a fun thing. Okay, we've evened out, but I've got a bee. I can summon my great white now to just kill. Uh, might be fun. I think, yeah, we do that. And then we just go. Oh, yeah. Just getting, generating bees is just so good. It's free advantage. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not taking your little surrender, you bitch. Bee's gonna die. Oh, we're gonna overkill for so much. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna just try and overkill as much as possible. Rage draw. Uh, you can try and kill that guy. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Oh, that's a delicious amount of teeth. God, man, you'd sound like a psychopath if people heard you play in this game. It's like, wow, such a good amount of teeth. What's that? Uh, oh, that's the booster. I did say I want to play a bone deck. That is effectively a free card in my deck. But the Raven is really good. Now we're playing. We're, we're going full bone build because I, I, bone cards are effectively free for my deck. Two health. Okay. Well, I think if there's any card that could use a boost, it would be Alpha. Because that means Alpha can actually survive. I'm not going to risk it more. Nah. A 1-4 will survive most encounters straight away. Especially if I link it to the shark or anything. It's, that's insane. Smoke is the bone effect. I'm surprised the smoke doesn't just innately have the bone effect. Like, it doesn't have it written on the card for some reason. Squirrel. Yep, get the bone. Oh, perfect. Oh my Jesus, that's a really good start. Uh, we're not going to play anything first. We just take the damage because we don't want to do anything while that coyote exists. And then I reckon we do... Give me beehive. Okay. I think we do squirrel into beehive over like here just to get the bones. And then I can think about what else I want to do. So that's going to block something in the future. Now I get to play the alpha... And then I can play the Smoke, Bullfrog, and then Alpha. I think that's good. I don't know. Mm, get me. Yeah, let's work on trying to get towards the big boy. It's not going to do anything now. I could trade... Oh, he's going to get killed anyway if I don't do this anyway. Yoink. My thing. Ooh, the octopus card's very fun. Now we just don't do anything. Because uh, I think we kill his monsters right here. We can block it technically. Oh, Cockroach is perfect in my deck. Rat King, again, another just a lot of good cards. We could... Because we're going to swing, kill him, and then those two get blocked. So we could, in theory, just put something there that then just gets killed anyway. Yeah, fuck it. We'll put a cockroach there. So now we can at least block all this off. There's gold in them cards. Imagine that happening in like a Yu-Gi-Oh duel. That'd be really yeah, see, the cockroach comes back. It's not even a loss. The coyote's kind of annoying, and I only have one place to play cards. I reckon we just moth the coyote, because it's, it's going to get stronger. Get him. Boom, 4-4. Four, four. 
Okay, what can we do here? We have Great White. We can't exactly get Great White out on the field, but we can play the Cockroach and just throw him out there because it doesn't matter what happens to him. Oh, we're going to overkill here anyway. We're going to overkill massively. Uh, let's just, like, do that into... I don't fucking know. I, I can't even do anything there. Let's just kill. God, I've got so much teeth. I should be able to afford a gold pelt, and that's going to be beautiful in the future when we can hopefully get, like, another Mantis God. By getting another Mantis God would be amazing. Child 13, Gek. Oh, Gek. Right, now that I, th I think at this point with my deck, I can afford to just get really high-cost minions. I want that Rattler. I never normally want the Rattler. Oh, the Wetland, yeah. I, I never normally want the Rattler, but in this situation, I would take him. Nothing here has anything I want. I could take the Bullfrog and sacrifice it. Yeah, I'm going to take the Bullfrog and sacrifice it. Where's the bullfrog? Yeah, you can go away, bullfrog. I don't I don't want him. An X again, I'm literally I've got a bone deck. I I just need to draw cards that are bones. Oh yeah. Salutations. We got ants and we got a ringworm. That ant is definitely gonna multiply very fast, so we're gonna go bonk. Give me my four bones, go bonk, and then go moth, and then go stink man. Wait, that's a kill right there. Oops. That's an OTK. Oops. All right, so we can either add a card and then get a new thing, or we can add a tribe of card and add improve a card. Okay, we got reptile, insect, elk. I think out of my cards, reptile is the most likely, and it was bullfrog. Well... I'm going to put the flying blocking then onto my beehive. Bullfrog onto beehive. So now this thing can stop flying things and just keep generating bees to fight over. And that's actually a really decent choice. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. We can get an alpha straight away. Those two I have to just ignore because I can't do anything. The That guy's going to be annoying. I think we scroll into Stunted Wolf. And then I think next turn I'll have to play cards because I've got nothing to do here. I'm going to take four damage, but I'm going to be able to swing back quite hard with my cards. Beehive is... Oh, that's such a good card here. I think I'm going to take Squirrel. I'm going to do Beehive block one of these guys. So we're going to do that into beehive alpha in the middle uh stunted here and then just you there that's gonna be a nice chunk of damage across the board you're gonna block that and i'm gonna get a b free resources give me more cards oh so this is gonna be Lethal. Oh, I wish I could go higher. I can go higher lethal, actually. This will go higher lethal. It'll be one over lethal, sadly, but it's still over lethal. Cockroach. I Cockroach. Oh my god. Good old Reflect Bounder. Mm, yeah, we're going to boost. If I can boost damage... Oh my god. What the f I'm just getting this. Okay, I think Reflect deserves it. Reflect, getting a nice boost there. Nah, I'm good. I only risk that stuff with cards I'm, like, okay with losing. Squirrel. Uh, oh, it's bees. Right, squirrel into stunted wolf into alpha. Let's go. 
Oh, I didn't realize the tree could gain attack. Okay, note to self. Even trees can be boosted. Let's go this way. Two cost. Now, give me a fucking, like, three cost. Give me a big fucker. Yeah, that's what I want. That's exactly what I need in my deck. If I can boost that bear even further, like, with this attack. Finally, an attack one. I've been waiting for this. Uh, I think we put it on to... Gek would be fun. Great White would be stupid. I like the idea of Beehive having it, though. A, a tank that can punch back slowly would be funny. Uh, no, I'm not risking, like, one of my funniest cards. I have so much tribute fodder, it's actually worth it to play big minions now. <gasps> Smoke. Look, <laughs> Angler! Squirrel. Of course. Nice top deck. Right, so this is a duel where you want to play as little minions as possible because that's how you win. Uh, so I think we just do that into that, and then mm, we could go big commit though. We can't. We can actually OTK the first wave here, but that's gonna be really bad once he gets his chum buckets. Yeah, this is where shit gets rough. Unless I can hard draw anything good. I mean, I could tribute this, get a stronger minion there. Yeah, I think that's good, honestly. Because they're going to get a shark. It's going to hit there. I get a B. It's going to equal out and equal out. Okay, so now I've just got to try and OTK from this situation. I think I'm going to yoink one of his cards, I reckon. And yeah, that's a kill right there. I'm I'm just trucking through these these early levels you can just truck through really. Oh bees also have the insignia. <gasps> I didn't know that. Okay, that's actually worth it. Man, it's god. It's like the fucking best card in the game. It's an it's a single card OTK. The one card just win the game. Once you get two attack on it, it's 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 like the strongest card in the game. Oh, the trapper's up there. I should probably go that way. And I need more items. Ooh, give me that. Perfect point, bone deck. Let's try and see what else we're going to get. I doubt there's anything going to be better than squirrel bones. But, like, squirrel blood is nearly good. Squirrel double attack is funny. Uh... Let's get, like, Insect, potentially, for the future. Why not? I'm, I'm building this one. Like, that one's just the best one I have. Squirrel! Okay, we can actually deal with that fucker now, can't we? Oh my god, we can! Our Reflect can't really deal with it perfectly, but... We can do... It's going to move. I don't want to take the damage straight away. We want to put Squalt in the way... Squalt? Stolt in the way to die. And then when it moves, Reflect can be there to attack it. Yeah, and then it's going to move. And then I get a free attack on it. Boom. You get hit me. That's very vicious. I need a card to tribute. Oh, I need a card to live. That's actually not bad. That guy's going to die. I get one damage. He's going to die. That's going to trade. Can I get a tribute? Technically, yes. I'm going to carve out my eye. Just because I know I will die this turn if I do not do that. Oh, that was literally just a victory right there. That was not a well-earned victory. Let's get the double eye. Diplopia. A trapper. Absolutely. 
Oh, any mimes, though. That's rough. Uh, golden pelt. Thanks for your patronage. Right, no matter what we do, we're going into a big duel. So, we're probably going to want to... Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Do we risk Mantis God? Go for it! Ah, oh, I lost my best card in the game! Ah, oh, god damn it. I shouldn't have never done that. Why did I listen to the guy who told me to do that last time? <laughs> That's really bad. I need to just kill. I need to kill. I do not have a killing hand. I needed to kill like turn one. Because I could not win. Let's use bones. Just in case of the future. The only thing I can think of is squirrel. Hmm. Squirrel. And then... I guess just you to block and then just moth. Like, you get four damage. I mean, I actually potentially can. Okay. I need tribute fodder. I can win here, actually. All I gotta do is that and then dunk, dunk, bonk, and then dunk. Oh, I forgot about the moment! I'm dead. I'm not dead, but I'm not gonna win. Like, I fucking guarantee I am not going to win. I mean, you're going to keep me alive at least. The Alpha lived, surprisingly. Oh, only I'd like more. I have you, which can actually... That three, kill, that three hit will kill me. What? I can survive this turn. And then I can get aggressive, actually. Okay, yes. And then that mole is going to be a right pain in the ass. Because I don't think I have any way of dealing with it. Because even if I do like this, and then I go, wow, grizzly bear, it, it, it doesn't matter. The mole is just going to block it. And I lose. Ah, well, I still live, technically. I've got one porch left. The mantis god wouldn't have helped there. It's just those challenge tools. Jesus Christ, they're vicious. It's also because my deck is a bit blocked. What is this? Oh, it's the pelt guy. Oh, 2 1 with flying. Man, it's God. He's back in my hands, finally. I got my Mantis God back. I am happy. We're going to boost Mantis God. Fuck it. Or I can just give Mantis God's effect to literally anyone else. Now that I think about it. Let's, like, give Mantis God's effect to... Uh, not Gek. Someone with high attack. I mean, technically... Mm, uh, high attack, but fair cost. I think Moth is a good choice there. Like, I think that's a fair cost for that ability. Right, this could be a difficult fight then. Okay, let's have a go. Can I draw Moth? I drew some good cards though. Okay, so you're going to be fine. I think we s just go straight for Beehive straight away. And we commit. This is actually really good because Moose Buck's technically stuck there. He was... Oh, because he shoves everything. Hmm... How do we deal with this? I think we wait until we can summon Grizzly. Okay, I get a B. Alpha. Okay, so we can boost my bear. And deal some cheeky damage, I reckon. That's all I can think of, is like, Gek... Oh, wait, I can't even summon bear if I do that. If I summon bear, then we're fucked. Well, not really, because that'll be five attack. That's almost a... Jesus Christ, that's a... Oh, I think I have to wait a turn. Yeah, you kill boulder, and then I gain my B, and then... Right, we're in a good position now. This is the position I want to be in. 
reflect. It's actually really good. Um, okay, so I think we summon Alpha here, summon Bear here. We've got plenty of resources. I can say that for certain. So let's summon Grizzly first. A, a plenty of resources for Alpha. And then I guess we put you there and reflect there. Okay, now we're in a decent position. I'm just going to draw resources now. Okay, we actually won that. Nice. I forget bees can swing out. I want the mystery card. I don't know enough about the tribes to really think about that. Moose box. Really good, but I like the idea of just being able to poke my opponent in the face repeatedly. Mushrooms. I forgot what mushrooms is. Oh, they, they can sell two of the cards together. I can duplicate any of the... I'm going to duplicate the back because it's a very cheap cost. Problem with having bone cards is that you're fucked in otherwise. Okay. First time getting to this boss. The Trapper. Oh, yeah. This is it. Squirrel, I have no items, but he is, he's got Strange Frog and Leaping Trap. Oh, so he he basically just clogs your hand with stuff, which is fine by me because I gain advantage off that shit. Uh, right, I can kill the strange thing. That, Beehive. Of course we're going for Beehive, it's like my strongest card in my deck. And then... We'll just kill one of these fuckers. Oh, they become traps. Yeah. Oh, it's a leaping trap, though. It's, it's not your standard trap. Uh, let's proc the traps of my uh, weenie cards, then. Like, let's proc the trap with you. And I could do you into you into pack rat. Would actually be a good idea. So just leave that trap there. And then we'll do this. Like, I like the idea of just popping my uh, the traps with my weenie cards. Like, that's perfect. Getting more bees to just bonk through their traps is amazing. Like, just that. It's so good having these bees. Sadly, my beehive's gonna die there. Bullfrog. Alright. Uh, I think Reflect is probably... Just a fun card to throw there. He's weak. Oh, and we also get some face damage. Goodbye, beehive. <laughs> the bullfrog's not going to be able to beat reflect. Too much damage. <sighs> oh, almost can get that. Next turn I will. Oh, but I forget what is his phase two going to be. So I think it's better to just keep generating resources for now. Keep, keep the board in, like, a neutral state. Mm, do we go Raven and try and kill? Yeah, I don't think we can risk it at this point. I think we go uh, Raven. Oh, yeah, he's an infinite tribute. I'm stupid. Right, now that we're literally in a state of just <laughs> balance... We need to draw good cards. Moth. Perfect. Okay. Uh, but isn't that any... Damage. Oh, damages. Uh, I really want to keep Moth. So I think Grizzly is the play. Right. We're going to deal two damage here. But then the Grizzly is going to come in. Which will probably help quite a bit. Right. Do this. Do this. Do this. And then... Shit, I don't have any other resources. I'm gonna... Sorry, Moth, but... This is so bad. That's just gonna ruin everything. I just need resources at this point. <sighs> right, he's gonna kill all my cards, most likely. Or he's gonna place traps everywhere. Oh, is it depending on how many trap... Uh... Pelts I have in hand. Ah! Trade for what you can. 
but know this, the rest will stay and fight. Okay, so give me that. We basically just want to get rid of the big cards, and I want to make sure I have the cards I can summon. You. Oh, wait, I can take, like, most of his board. Hmm. You're funny. And then... I guess... You and you? Hello again. Uh, so that actually doesn't even matter because I still win. Because, uh... That, and then let's just do something funny. Do I have any, like, two cost I can throw out? Oh, wait, I can throw out, like, the grizzly over uh, here. Wait, no, I can't. I can only summon, like, the raven, I think. Yeah, let's just summon, like, the raven over here. How much damage can I get direct? Oh, that's a nice chunk. Okay, that fight was actually really easy, especially if you kill off some of your weak minions. <laughs> I realize. I like Amalgam. Oh! Yeah, fuck it. Let's just grab the fucking ultimate beast in terms of attack and defense. You know, like uh, Bloy's White Dragon. The ultimate monster in terms of attack and defense. Right, I need items. Go. Scissors. And I think Fan is... I think, honestly, my bone deck could actually benefit from the bones. I'm guessing I'm going to fight him, of course. Or is the door going to open? What's going to happen here, baby? Oh, so this is what happened in, like, real life. What is that? Oh. Okay. I don't have any pelts. I don't know what rare cards are. Uh, I guess this one. Get. Oh, sweet. Oh, defensive. I like I like the idea of that one. Don't have any of those. Don't I have one of those. I think airborne is my best chance. I have I think one airborne. <laughs> Failure. Rip. There he is. Do I keep clicking? Are we, are we gaming yet? Oh, here he is. It's time for the grand... Oh, hello. Let's fucking go. Oh, bring it on, bitch. Cheeky fucker. I'm not going to win this, I don't feel... But this is going to be a cool fucking duel. Like, look at that fight. Squivel. Oh, my niceness. Those are some really nice early cards. Okay, so he's going to get Mantis God, which doesn't matter because I'm about to show him the real fucking Mantis God, baby. Uh, right, so we're going to do what? Like, uh, I'm going to... Oh, I can't even keep the Black Goat because he's just going to kill it anyway. So let's bring out, like, this guy over here. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, wait, I can just grab another black goat, funnily enough. Drop you there, I guess. And then... Moth! My strongest monster! Block all of this shit, you fucking stupid moth! You have betrayed... Oh, are these two? 
Yeah, I don't know who those two are, I'm gonna be honest. Oh my god, I'm about to clear the field. Let's just prepare more monsters. Because that's all I know I'm gonna need. Holy shit! No! Don't you fucking dare touch my cards. I will murder you in real life. He's gonna summon the moon, isn't he now? It has one attack. Yeah, it has one attack. Uh, right, now it's just about trying to draw my Urabi. Uh, who's the best at dealing with it? Oh, Beehive. Oh, actually, Beehive juices. I basically just want to try and draw my biggest monsters. Can I kill it in like three turns? Potentially, if I draw good. Oh, yes! Uh, I need to somehow get... Oh, how the fuck do I do this? I need to tribute like... I need to tribute the smog and then next turn. Okay, and now, now, baby, please give me a tribute. Not what I want. Uh, I would love to be able to get rid of that, but I guess, uh, I guess this will just, uh, we're gonna win anyway, but still. Go on. Give me those teeth. Aw, oh, you prick. I got the camera, so I'm ready to fucking game. Enduring victory. Oh my, did I just... I think I just beat him. Oh. I think he just got fucking slapped. It sounded like he just got fucking... <laughs> just slapped to the face. Just fucking... Bushka. Yo, it's Windows Vista or some shit. Welcome to Windows Vista. Camvux. <laughs> nice recording, dipshit. Uh, stop. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter. And Yo. Pack opening video. Yo. Today, I am opening... Catch monsters packs. Oh, yo, catch! Transcend! Yo. I don't even. Here, I'll add some crazy VFX of like this or something. Oh, these are okay, pre-recording. You could have. I am about to open my first pack. Yo, Feeling bring it on. You you can get the fucking secret. Pull really? that fucking Alistair. Like I wouldn't be surprised if fucking somehow Alistair made it into these random packs. Okay. Did you get Alistair? And our first rare Ooh. is. Nah. Not exactly a viable. Oh shit! Sorry, I clicked off. I just had to check something because uh, something give a. Oh, it's just that we we good, we fine. Competitive card, but hey. We mean Birchkin's not bad. All right. All right. If you build the deck we, around um. Oak guy. Say, Birchkin Birch actually is kind of based. It, uh, kind of rogue, but it's still pretty good. They're so smooth. Sure what they're doing down there at the uh the card factory but um probably just i was just gonna say they're okay. coming on it let's see what we got here you blue eyes Jank cards maybe a few additions to my draft cube i two. swear that card pack is and way more cards rare for this pack is bam dog Mm. Exactly yeah, no, I'll give you that. Ba Bandog isn't that good. Even even in the competitive area, he's not even that good. Like, even in his, like, niche decks, he's not even that good. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage... The Lucky Carter is actually a great name for a card Today, channel. A few super rare old like, the Lucky Carter. At a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. Wait, but that's not the same pack. believe the deal I got on now, not all of you will even remember this game. Oh, I'm I... am barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing. Yeah, probably because uh, they did so well. There's not market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for... It's just fun. Really it's just a fun now, little... Said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, no, if you... A foil mantis god? Let me buy that. 
I will fucking buy that from you. That sounds amazing. Really? I mean, the art is definitely cool in terms of, like, you know, in terms of retro aesthetic. Yo! They pulled, they pulled the blue mage. I wonder if you name a card blue mage if there's an achievement for that. There has to be an achievement for naming a card blue mage. Oh. Hope no one stuck the rare out. Uh, resealed packs are always fucking scummy. Literally, resealed packs fucking suck. Come on, people, honestly. Who opens and reseals? Yeah, it's such a dickish thing. And it's like an actual thing that happens. It is so dickish. Huh. There's a set of coordinates on this card. That's not good. It looks like they were drawn on with a pen. But what's the rare card? Degrees north, 123 degrees west. I do not know how quads work, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I think Wait, can I turn capture card off? I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, hey guys, Jake Paul here. I'm Welcome here. to the vlog. <laughs> Welcome to life. the. I'm just gonna quickly do something. I've got a trusty headlamp and shovel. Always come prepared. I want to see a piss. What's that? What's that like? Fucking Ooh. a jar of lip seal. There we go. He got the shovel. Yeah. He got. He got the right spade. Okay. Y'all, that's my favorite card. The bone Ooh. zone. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is. Dude, you're gonna get fucking mugged. To get close to. This very well may be. Oh, it's a cabin, isn't a it? Massive. Yeah, there's a cabin in the woods. I wonder if they like um built the whole thing around like the cabin in the woods. That's the. Hmm. All right. Camera broke. I'm guessing. That's why. You always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Oh, that's fucky. Every time. Why would you go you at night time? Or evening. Like, at least... I would bring, like, six guys with me. Like, six, like, eight-foot-tall fucking monkeys. I'll just bring, like, a pet gorilla with me to just, like, beam that fucker. What is that phone? This is it. This is, like... Oh, pardon me. This is, like, YouTube days, isn't it? Where the fuck is the guy rocking, like, a, a, a nugget? We dig. Oh. Oh, it's because it, there was the cabin, and of course it went when we saw the cabin, because spooky. Uh, very lucky. Could just be a rock, to be fair. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. Okay, but he was with me. Only one way to find out. Only six foot tall monkey I know is forced. I mean, that's the thing. Like, if you're going to go into the woods, just bring, like, a silverback gorilla with you. So if someone, because that would be amazing, someone comes to, like, scroll with you, you just, like, snap oh God, your fingers, yeah, and then it. just a silverback it's gorilla comes around the corner. Game. That guy would just die. They would die on the spot. But it's good to see you, though, Dr. Nefarious. Hope you're doing well. It's a fucking bomb. That looks like a stick of dynamite. Uh, uh, that, honestly, that would be the shittest way to die, is... You, you go looking for treasure, you what? swing your spade down, and then just a fucking stick of dynamite goes off. <laughs> just like, good job. Yeah, a floppy disk. Guys, are you seeing this? You can tell this isn't realistic, because if that was an actual I'm floppy a... disk, it wouldn't work. I'm a little confused. Like, floppy disks break if you, like, sneeze within, like... A mile. If you sneeze within a mile of a floppy disk, it loses all its data. Like, those things are just useless. As Nurkube said, floppy disks were small pieces of memory built to lose your data. No, oh, he's getting a floppy disk drive. I mean, it is cheaper, but you could just, like, buy house insurance or something. He's oh, going to play the card I game. Floppy disks hold less than five megabytes a day. Exactly. But the thing is, they hold, they quote-unquote hold data. They lose that data, like, immediately, because floppy disks are useless. Like, you could have at least 
made a CD. And I'll tell you, that video game is not 5 megabytes. This game's like, I think it was a gigabyte or two. Or maybe, are you going to get kidnapped or some shit? You're going to click continue. Why would you click continue? This isn't a real gamer. A real gamer would check their options before doing any of this. I'm going to get jump scared. Watch here. <gasps> no, it didn't work. Hello. Give me gift. I don't even know what that is. It's like, give me. I want the food. I, I Give me. Come with me. I wanted to eat it. I wanted to eat the food. Camera. Get fucked. Fucking nerd! Get fucked! Get fucked, nerd! Haha, -ha, get fucked, you nerd! I grabbed the Yu-Gi-Oh card. What do I got? I can't see shit. I'm gonna get like jump scared, aren't I? Oh. What? How the fuck are my men are like. Where the fuck am I going? Yeah, there's a fucking wall. Where am I? Oh. Oh, do I click start screen? No. The fuck? <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> Maybe make the title screen at bed. I mean, yeah, you'd... Oh, wait, do I, like, click on that? I can... <laughs> Yo, nefarious. Where the fuck do I go? <laughs> I got, do I need to go back to the main menu? I'm guessing that what it is. Like, I'm gonna go start screen or something. Aha! Do I click new game? I'm guessing I click new game. No backup. Why didn't you back up? Should have backed up your get save data. In the beginning, the world did not know cards until Yu-Gi-Oh. <gasps> Yo, the skeleton hand is doing the fucking way. Yo, is this Undertale? Well, that's the one we've met, Mr. Tree Guy. Oh, writing, picture, cloning, and then magic? Oh, it's gonna say. Beast Leshy is who we met. Peel 3. Oh, we copied shit. Oh, a brush to paint his wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had to solidify their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to place one of the scribes. Me, Jeff. It's me, Zane Truesdale, master of the Cyber Dragon. Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. Can I, like, view them? Do, do, does it automatically pick? Okay, so... You've got... Technology. Magics. Oh, this is actually really interesting. I like the idea of playing... Oh, okay. Can I pause? I can pause. Right, in Yu-Gi-Oh! I love machine decks, and I love dragon decks. There's no dragon... So I am leaning towards machines because I fucking love machines. But I also like the idea of a dead, uh, the undead deck because I'm assuming the undead deck is about bringing things back to life. Um, I don't know how this game works, but 
I really kind of want to try the Undead deck. The other two are just like, Magic is just like, what? Magic could be interesting if there's like control in this deck where like you can like play spells and stuff. Oh my god, what if there are spell cards now? Fuck! Hello, can't say lumber, wait to check on progress. Yeah, I just beat the main like beginning thing. Uh, so now I'm into this. Oh, fuck. I kind of want to try. Okay, these three actually interest me now. Because that can involve spell cards. That can involve reviving. And that one's machines. And I fucking love machine cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. I... Mm, I really can't... I don't think, like, actual stuff exists. I think robots is the most fun. Really? Machine is the most fun. You know what? Fuck it. You've convinced me. You've convinced me. We'll go machines. They may be called robots, but I don't care. I'm just going to call them machines. Right, let's have a look at my deck then. Uh, okay. Steambot. It is a six cost whatever the fuck. Auto complete. I'm guessing. We don't have any of the other cards, of course. So, we have that, which is a 3 cost, 2 cost. Yeah, move, block, a 0, 2, 1 cost. Okay, I wonder how these machines work, though. Because I don't know how... I'm guessing it's got, like, its own system. It's a game, obviously, you fucking moron. Uh, I guess I can only go over here, so let's go straight to Leshy. 273. There's like blood over here. No. No fish. No pass. Okay, so that's fish boy. That was a cool probably... Yo, it's this guy. Dang, damn it. D dang, here get left again. Get him pissed. Not until I get proof my girl's alright. Oh, card pack. Yeah, and these are all blood. Oh, so certain cards produce energy cells. Revenant. Bones. So dead cards are all bones. Ah, but it's like fragile. Uh, once ball is struck, the strike... Yeah, yeah, of course that. Okay, so we've got some new things. So dead was bones. Beast is tributes. Magic, I don't know. And I'm guessing machines are some sort of energy-based thing. Hello. Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold me, Leshy, Scarra Beast. We share a desire for you to challenge me, but first. I know what you're thinking. No, this is my legendary karma, and not the. This is not used to create beast cards. This is one mere replica. May use it to create folds of beasts in the wood. My spawnlets, blah, blah, blah. They each require a follow before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they are all defeated. Okay. I'm guessing this door is the sus door. Hello? You wish to trade? You don't purchase any pelts. That's disappointing. Ah, so I'm guessing you can give him foils and then you get packs. Cool. Okay. Well, I feel like machines is going to have kind of a rough start considering the first area isn't even machines. Um. So I guess let's fuck off and come back. Well, let's go to the undead area then where it's got the fucking circle hand. You're here, marvelous. I'm Grass, scribe of death. Until quite recently, I was disgraced. Though I returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends, if you wish to test your skills and ability, you must prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting place of my lovely ghouls. Oh no, do not look upon me. Do not starve. If you wish about me, please let us go over with. Let's do! Right, how the fuck does this deck work? I'm PL3, okay? You pick my starter deck. That means you have to learn to use energy. Do I really have to explain this to you? At the start of each turn, you increase your max energy. Spend it on or not, doesn't matter. At the start of your next turn, energy refills to the max. Get it? So, is it basically I'm playing Hearthstone? So this deck is basically you play Hearthstone. See that? Then get back. Sick of who? You see me later. So is it play Hearthstone or is it? Wait, what's that? Oh, bell. 
Okay, so basically I'm playing Hearthstone. Okay, I get your game. So you have guaranteed resources, but it's not that impressive. Ah, shit. Well, I'm dead. I lost immediately. I literally lost immediately. Oh, wait. Oh, card pack. Like, look how powerful these cards are compared to what I'm... Okay, we have green. Okay, so you accumulate gems and then that's that whole deck. Tomb Raider. Pay one bond to create a scale. Oh my god! That's so cool! Why did I pick technology? Cynthia, you bastard! Undead seems so cool! Oh, that's so fucking cool. Okay, now this seems like more of an actual duel because they're not instantly summoning really high level classes. Uh, well, I guess let's just... Why does he cost three? This deck seems so bad at the beginning. Like, you have no good cards. You basically have to wait a turn to actually do anything. Okay, I can actually play the game now, I think. <gasps> My first ever damage! So this deck is about playing really uh, low-cost defensive cards before actually doing stuff. So this is very much a slow... This is this is literally a control deck. But to be fair, I might just not have any good tech cards yet. The star deck doesn't really matter. I'm guessing you can swap deck whenever you want. Uh, just depending on what you've got. Like that's all that's like I had to wait so many turns to summon a 2-2. Two, two. I wonder if you can restart this mode or if that'll break it. I'm guessing just depending on what card you have, it'll make that. Interesting. Okay. The name's Royal. card pack. Oh yeah, I'm probably going to be able to just build an undead deck like straight away. Oh my god, that's so fun. Like having active resources that you pay just seems like such a fun system. Hello. What's this? Oh, I'm in the shadow realm now. Found a piece of F-tap. Eaten by a hungry dog. What was it? It's like eaten by a hungry dog, something, something, and then... Oh, I can change my appearance. Wait, there was like a character I liked. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, I like that character, kind of. Give me like seven years. I need to select. Beep boop. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have the little tiara. Ah, but I want, like, a better colour, though. I must be the only person who did this. <gasps> Almost cool. That's the same character twice, I think, there. Could be wizard. Hopefully you just get enough cards to play every deck. That would be cool. Be a weird like redhead. Yeah, fuck it. Let's be like a soulless redhead. K 
Okay, I can't even fuck with that guy yet. Let's not hold a grudge. Interesting. Suddenly, the AC aren't a common dude. It's freezing here. Maybe a heated battle will help. Let's go! Okay, so... Can't be sacrificed. When Jorga perishes, the creature inside is released in its place. Uh, Banshee will strike an opponent directly even if there is an opposing creature. Like, that's a free cost card! It's free! Gonna deal two damage this turn. Let's just put a bunch of mine cars down. Oh, it's three damage. Big boy. Uh oh, it's just skeleton duh. Get fucked. This just feels like I'm playing just like a normal online card game. Oh, I'm going to be able to get in for big Chungus damage. Oh, so extra damage becomes foils. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Raven. <laughs> Might be able to almost play like a bone deck at this point. Where it costs four bones, so that just seems stupid. But like the fact that's free, and then you just. Casey. Casey Hobbs. The defibrillator failed. Okay, we got some stuff with like killed by dogs. What's Casey? Defibrillator failed. And I think in there was... Why not? Defibrillator failed, and then... It wasn't eaten by a hungry dog, I don't think. Wait, who are you? Far right tome. So I'm guessing you're the other one I have. Royal, yes. Wait, no, aren't you royal? Oh, no, you're not real, the last one, then. Okay. This is the tough fucker who I don't think I can beat yet. What does hammer mean? Oh, no. Uh. Yeah, I can't beat this guy until I get just a better deck. I really wish they went the other way, because I'm dead here. Oh, I could have actually lived a turn if I hit directly. Yeah, no, I, I lose that door every time. This guy was called Royal then. So that guy is Royal. And I think that one was the one where it's, there was no cure. Eaten by a dog? Wait, no. Ah, no, no. There was no cure. Hit by a fallen piece of ice or some shit. I think that might be true. We've also just got another door over here. Oh, you're the pelt trader, but I'm guessing you trade for skeleton stuff, which is not all I want. Uh, well, let's head back to the forest and see what we can do. Is there anywhere I can actually go in this forest? Like, I can't go no fish, no part. Exactly. Like, you want you want picture. But I can't go anywhere until the dog or uh, the other thing is sorted. It's like, is there anything in here? Can I, like, look at the clock? Oh, it's this puzzle again. Yo, hell yeah. Oh, wait, because of this fucker here. Um, right, so... We need to kill that <clears throat> in as little, because it's always going to go from this side. So I think 
this what matter you preferably want ah you want the flying damage don't you mm, even that's not enough though oh shit i clicked off oops because even if we were to do flying oh no because we can kill it now i think Ah, uh, yes, yeah, CCC. Ah, uh, okay, right. So we can actually kill it with the flying damage. Meaning, it's probably worth it to try and kill it by then. Four damage again, because you do... Oh, no, because this one always goes first. I'm fucking stupid. Because I'll deal one damage there, which will kill it. Shit, because that's only Dug Dug. Hmm. That's going to do the same. That's only two damage. Wow. Uh, huh. We could just not attack there. But if we don't attack there, then we're not going to get anywhere, are we? Unless this fucker... Aha! We need that fucker to attack it. Because that will kill it. Oh, a new machine. Oh, that's good. That's actually, like, good, wasn't it? That is a good card. Oh, man, he's back. The best card in the game. Oh, I got two packs for that. You know what? Oh, what? That's, that's just, that's literally a one cost zero one. How is that even good? Two, seven, three. What's in the safe? Prospector. Well, I haven't seen a wolf there, mate. Have you seen one? Get her some food. Yeah, yeah, you get the meat from the fridge, right? Ah, oh, there you go. Jobs are good and Right, let's go Prospector. Let's fucking throw down. Let's fucking go. Yeah, this is the classic teeth deck. Right. Oh, interesting. So he's going to like... Why not? He'd even play a tribute. That's weird. Move to interrupt. Oh, I forgot about that gimmick. Shit. Now I take damage. Ow! Stupid cards. Yeah, sure. Yeah, one will still get in the way. And then we can bring the big fucker in next turn. Six cost, big fucker. Oh no, I get a deal big damage. Right, all I've got to do it right. So that's three damage. So I've just got to slowly chip down that fucker, I reckon. He gets killed, he gets killed. Right, I'm only going to deal one damage at that point. I wish I could move him because I'm going to win here. But I can't do anything about it because I can't like, wait, I can do this, can't I? Yes, I can. Uh, and then, oh no, you. Okay, now we can do some big damage. Big damage! Give me those foils, baby. This is a very low damage, very much like a resource focus deck. A, weird, a very weird card. I Honestly, that might just be a good card to get. Because you can tribute one of your machines and then bring out... That's a card. That's not bad. Okay, let's look at my deck quickly. What do we want to go for? I reckon we can have 20 cards, so it is very Yu-Gi-Oh. I like the idea of running these guys. Automatron is just such a fucking clunky fucker. 
uh, and so is that fucker, and the, like the leap bot as well. Like our machines, let's look at our machines to see what we can do. That is a bad card. You're not bad. What happens if I run like this though? Like, can I like run like a random one of these? Like, will that work? Uh, I don't want. I don't like seeing. I like you because you're useful. You're only like relevant turn one, and you're too clunky for your cost. I'm pretty sure. I think that's fair. Ah, to the pond. Well, that's bait. And give him the picture for the thing now. Fish, fish good. Still must beat. I've got some different cards now. And I'm hoping to actually see them. Alright, defender. Flying fish. That then shrimps. Block the attack. Nice. We're going to need to just place you to block the attack, I reckon. This is where they're going to start gaining advantage, though. Because this deck is purely control-based. Four damage, but I can hopefully kill in another turn and actually have like a defender. Right, I'm gonna have it. Oh, wait, no. I'm gonna be able to kill. No, I won't be able to kill because I can't. Oh, they're just gonna kill my creature, actually. I'm stupid. <sighs> That's really good. So I can even out the playing field there. But those guys... Th technically, these guys will survive a hit. So it might be good to play one of these guys. Because they survive. They block a hit, at least. Yeah, they survive a hit. Which is the good cost of their... And uh, good nature of that card. Play another minion that can survive. Just slowly push defense. Okay, and then... Here, we can push for game, right? Oh, we're only just going to get game, which is so sad. I could hold back, get that two cost. Yeah, I reckon we hold back so we can get a two cost. Yeah, exactly. We hold back. Shit, I forget that guy is a swing over. Oh, we might just lose it. No, no, we won't. Give me, like, another minion, please. Okay, so we can do... One, two, three, four. So we can do five damage. Or try and do more by getting greedy. That's three damage. If I add any more damage, that's a kill. Oh, shit. This is really difficult. Because I can't, like, add a minion. I think we just do that and then see how far we can just push it. Because that's... That's that, and then... Oh, wait, shit. Now I've lost, like, all my advantage. Okay, so that's one, two, three. And it's blocking attack. So that's one, two, attacks blocked. So that's going to stop their two big attackers. And I'm going to get one damage to the face instead. And now if we can deal, like... I, again, I'm back at, like, this amount of damage. <gasps> that is not bad because i can actually that won't do anything i won't achieve any ah oh, fuck it we're just gonna have to end it with only one extra cost damn that's one of the problems with this deck is you just don't get any like special resources i can go back to the beast deck honestly but i don't have any squirrels i don't think do i have any squirrels you need squirrels to play the beast deck. Oh, unless the beast deck has the gimmick of you automatically have squirrels. But 
The last subordinate is the trapper. Give me that shit. Oh, two packs as well. Ooh. Ah, pay power to boost the power and health. Oh, that could be really fun because that'll be two boosts straight away. I might just put that in my deck. Oh, that is another good. Mox cards. I'm guessing Mox cards are, you know, mage cards. I like that fucker, though. That fucker works really nicely in the deck. Uh, where is it? Wizard. It costs a triangle. Whatever the fuck a triangle is. Okay, so we need that. Oh, wait, but then if we play that, then we're basically going to have this really useless engine that doesn't do much. It synergizes with Machine, but it synergizes in a very balanced deck. I, we, we got three of those, to be fair. So we could afford to start merging the both of these decks, but I feel like a Mage deck would work better with, like, a Blood deck. Or like any other deck. Because of course bones and blood work together. I don't know how these work together. Well, I guess it's because you're not playing many minions. I'll, I'll try and get more cards. And then I will consider that. Is it going to come out of the one that's most furthest away or something? Can I interact with the bear trap? Oh, can I push it? Ah, I have to push it. Okay, it's going to go this way next, I think. As long as I stand over here, it should go through the next path. Got your bitch. Where's the trapper? Oh, the trapper lives in the back here. I remember where the trapper is. You got your pelts. Oh, wait, is there multiple drawers? No. Oh, interesting. So the borrowing trap moves to strike and it has five HP. Shit. That's rough. But to be fair, this deck is just about vomiting resources on the board anyway. Like it's gonna take my deck a while to even deal with most of the shit. There it goes. Oh no, it's a... Perish is. It is perish. Okay. Oh wait, shit. If I take one more damage, I'm dead. Oh wait, never mind. It's fine. I'm dead. I literally die because of that. Okay, I think I can play this better. I think I can... I think I can play this better. I think I can play this better. Oh, that's a really nice start, because we can do... Oh, wait, right. How how do I know if I'm generating bones? Hmm. Now I'm confused. I don't know how bones are generated. Okay, I did gain a bone. So machines do technically drop bones as well, weirdly enough. Okay, 
Okay, now we can kill. Now we can actually start attacking directly. I don't care if you die. Oh, wait, shit, that was really important because now I'm dead. God damn it. Blah, blah. Okay, yeah, I need better cards probably. One more, one more go, one more go, one more round, one more try, and then we'll have a look at what I can do with my cards. That's the annoying. Right, we need to do that. We need to block the big guy. Uh, I think we just wait a turn here. Because I'm going to take damage, but I can also nuke their board by killing this fucker, and then he's going to move over to kill that other fucker. No, he won't kill it. He'll just die. Ugh, again, though. Like, I'm one cost away from dying just from doing nothing. I don't think I really have the cards yet to deal with that. I feel like ugh, I need... I don't, it's, it's, This deck is too slow to handle that type of deck. I don't know if that's... I think I've literally done, like, everything I can do. The only thing I can do now is make my deck better we have mantis god and i'm guessing the whole point of the beast deck we could try and just like we could swap over to beast and see how that works oh interesting fuck it we'll see all they created for me i saw mantis god which is already like the best card in my deck right how does how does like how do I draw from the squirrel deck if that's even possible? You don't. But then how do you get tributes for that deck? Oh, because you just have everything. So I can actually just use my machines as tributes. That's okay. That's a good idea for like a fusion deck. Because that will provide that. And then I can place that guy over there. And we're pressing the sigil, exactly. Two bombs, though. And then you can keep playing these guys to just keep getting guys on the field. And I can boost. I could take two damage here. They're going to kill. They're going to block. Well, it, to be fair, I've got the entire field blocked. You're dead, almost. Okay. Nice. I get a free skeleton. Free. You're gonna die. I get damage on the board, baby. Right, we dealt with the first pain in the ass. Oh, wait, I'm just going to take two damage. What is wrong with me? Oh, that's the good card. Right, uh, I think we tribute you to... Because I could go one, two... Yeah, we do you, and then we play you, and then we... Okay, we've evened up the board state, baby. Two costs. No. Very much turn the cards. You're going to swing over, so it doesn't matter what you do. Mm, don't really have anything to do with that. We're basically equal on damage. Or actually, I think I'm slightly ahead, which is funny. Oh, good shit. Nice. Oh. <gasps> That's actually really close to a victory right there in itself. Okay, uh, can I do anything? I can do that. Boost by one. And I think that would just be a good idea. Kill. You. Boost by one. Go. Only two. God damn it. I wanted to get more from that. That sucks. Practice wizard. Why are these different symbols, though? 
Oh, so it's three costs for four. You only have beast packs. I don't want beast pack. I want other pack. Hmm. Can I actually go over to the other islands, or do I have to complete these islands to go over to the other ones? Oh, what do you want? Hello. Back all the quits, but now there's a challenger and a miss. I should be able to get the bridge fixed up. Four discovered to take me. One of the scribes. Oh, okay, so I need to defeat. I'm guessing defeat Leshy, most likely. Unless I reckon I can hug tussle with this fucker now. Right, let me actually try building the deck on my own then, because I'm not dumb. I can think. Right, so. We're going for a tribute focus deck, I reckon, using the energy for free resources, and then by using those bones to do this. I don't know how these things work. You produce, like, fucking shrimp, and you have shrimp? Like, what the fuck does a shrimp do? Maybe I have to play him to actually discover it. Maybe we just do, like, this, and then, like, on purposefully, like, lose a duel just to try and, like, get the tutorial for the magic. Like, let's try and get the tutorial for the magic first. So, give me the magic card so you can tell me what to do. You do not have green gems to play that. Gain green gems by playing Mox cards. Okay. Oh, so that is basically like a little tempo card, I guess. So I basically need to try and get to my fucking tempo cards first. Uh oh! I was about to say, that's three damage to the face. That's me dead. Can I draw my magic boy? I'm literally trading back and forth at this point. At least this deck can trade back and forth really well. Get fucked. Like, I have yet to draw... Like, I, I'm not going to play that. Because I, I need... The blue gem... So I'm guessing there are mox cards that generate each type of gem. But you're, you're also useless. Will I actually draw the wizard card that I have a three of in my deck? I'm just going to win by fucking... I want to quit. I, I'm just going to kill my own cards because I don't want to win yet. There we go. So these guys generate a mox per turn. Okay, and then that allows. But you can only have one green gem. That's good. That's way more overkill than what I had before. So, you those. So basically. It's like you're playing Magic the Gathering, you know. You need land cards, effectively. Ooh. Ooh. Holy shit. That's amazing card. So what, we had, like, scroller... Schooler was obviously eaten by a dog, but does not hold a grudge. I mean that this one is whatever is down in this abyss. Oh, you got hit by ice. You... Ah, so this is going to be the death. Brought down by Scurry. Ah, I see. Hello. Okay, then. Right, so you... Give me that. You were brought down by Scurry. Wait, I'm still missing something. I need to offer a sacrifice? 
Well, I don't see anything here that is offer a sacrifice. You, you're hit by ice. Oh, I did it. Right, so now I can challenge those two. Right, let's have a look at my deck before we even go in. Because I'm saving my cards for the machines. Right, so now that I know how those fuckers work, they do good, like, big end damage. Right. We need these guys, because these are just, like, amazing turn starters. These guys, again, tempo cards. Just a bunch of good tempo cards. Then, you need the stuff that actually does things. Once you've got tempo, you need attacking stuff. I think that's where these guys come in. A 2 cost 3 1, a 3 cost 4. I think just having like a handful of big chunguses. And these guys are going to die. So I think having. Wow, that's interesting. Wait. So it returns to life to take a swing, and then it, of course, will die, most likely. I like the idea of, like, having some of these guys just to take advantage of the bones. Pay one bone to create a free boy is actually really nice. So I think we have that, and then we fin it. I think we cap it off with some machines just to keep the consistency and the tempo alive, I reckon. I am able to return. Oh, they have returned. The legend is here. <laughs> okay. Oh, these guys are nice because they, of course, generate energy. I could play an Urabi because I think it'd be funny. I've got a few... How many tributes do I have? I have a few big tributes. The bone guys will do... I think just having more machines for consistency, though, is probably a better end goal. How's RoboDeck going? It was bad at the beginning, but now that I've started to get other cards, it's... Uh, I think it might do well now. The robot deck is very slow, of course, because that's kind of what it is. Uh, but of course, once you get other cards, right. It's a very defensive deck, I guess, is the one way of putting it. Okay. So, we can do that into that, and then you're gonna shoot one of these guys. So, I reckon you can be a defensive thing, and then you're gonna, of course, just shoot the fucker when he gets summoned. Oh, no. Oh, wait, he leaps over. I forgot about that. I'm dumb. I forgot the whole point of that guy as he moves. I really just want him to fill the board so I can just throw in my guy and nuke the board. Because that, that fucker there just dies. Shit. Magic is really... Magic seems like a really good deck. It Basically, you play Magic the Gathering. I don't know how, if that works how I think it does. Like, if I do this and then hammer it, does that count? Yes, I can do that. That is really funny. That is really funny that you can do that, but I lose there anyway, so I, I will need to restart it. Uh. Okay, right. Another attempt. I'm st I'm I'm probably gonna go do Lesh first because I feel like Lesh would be easy. Easier, right? Uh, turret is good for that dog because he just fucking baits it. Let's just like bait it over here. I want to try and just free up the area. Oh, why'd you spawn there, you fucker? Right again. Just you want to play slowly. This deck is very slow. You don't want to just commit your entire hand. I say that, but you could do that into that, into that. That into, of course, this fucker. Go take damage. He's flying. I didn't realize he was flying. That's a big fucky. Uh, we kind of need to play you. So I think you for you is good. And then you can go there. And then he's going to blah, 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 blah. Turn two to four. Oh, so they're going to... On turn four, they will come back. So basically, these cards come back in the future. 
Oh no, wait, they live. Wait, I'm very confused now. Okay, so now that I've got full energy, I'm thinking we, of course, Chungus this die, and then we go big. Death is never final. Yeah, they're going to be resurrected at some point. I don't know when they're going to be resurrected, but they're going to be resurrected. Uh, I think we summon and then tribute, tribute. Also, why did I put him there? That's the worst spot. Dark Souls be like, true! Oh, you just... Oh, he nearly nuked himself. Oh, okay, this is... Give me a skeleton. You know what? Give me another skeleton. You know what? I want another skeleton. Uh, that's victory right there. Only a very slight victory. Oh, wait, no, because I can kill you. Skelebub. Right, bigger victory. Fuck your deck. Oh, wait, do they have two lives? Oh, they do have two lives. I am a dumbass. No! Oh, wait. Do I get a bunch of skeletons? Yo, that's cool. Wait, he's still got his ability though. You fucking idiot. This, oh wait, adjacent friendly minions. I'm stupid. I thought that was enemy minions. But I can get my, I have, do you know how many skeletons I can spawn? <laughs> Why can't I spawn skeletons? Wait, give me skeleton. Also, these guys are just like freebies now. Oh, I just realized that's the big chungus guy. You thought you could fuck with me. <laughs> I've got the power of God and anime on my side. I barely got any excess damage, which sucks, which means I'm going to get, like, no packs. But it's really funny. Get fucked. You literally just fueled my victory. <laughs> Wait, I just realized I'm not even running, like, my best card in my deck. I'm not even running my Mantis God. What am I doing? Yo. Oh, it's a zero one, Bro, cringe. Oh, that's the one where it moves and then it drops a skeleton. Yo, how many packs do I get? Two or three? Right, I'm going to go over to Machine Land so I can buy machine packs. Uh, squirrel Ball! Scrubble, that's really funny. Uh, think. Ah. Oh wait, we good? We gaming? We gaming? Okay. Why am I not playing the Mantis God? The Mantis God is like arguably the best card in my deck. Also, these guys, these fuckers, are amazing. Fuck the Revenant. FYI, you can change the play. Yeah, I did. I ran into the mirror like six times to try and get a character I wanted. <laughs> right, out of these, who would be like a good... You can't play more than 20. I wish you could play more than 20. Wait, can you play more than 20? <gasps> it's a proper card game. I don't even know if that's worth it. Though. You want consistency. I want consistency. But playing big tributes with... You're off 3 1. I think flying is at its best when it's just big, but um, nah, that trade's not good. Mm, if I can get more Tomb Raiders as well. Because you need the cheap cards to then facilitate your more expensive cards. Mm, I could play 21, but I don't feel good playing 21 cards. I could trade up Grizzly for Urukar, to be fair, just for funniness. Oh, that would be really funny, but he's useless in a situation where you can't hit over. That's really hard, actually. I think I might remove a Sentry Drone. Oh, no, because that, that's just a free chip damage. Oh, this is so fucking hard now. Oh, I need the leap bots for slow play at the beginning as well. Because you need to start slow before you can commit. Oh, this is so fucking difficult to the side. Oh, fuck it, I'll try 21 cards. I feel really bad about playing 21 cards, but I'll try it. Right, let's go buy some machine packs, baby. Woo! Uh, 
Uh, hello. Weak cards. But I do have a decent deck. To be fair, I wish I had better machine cards. Oh, talking about machine cards. Give me some packs, baby boy. Ooh, what's that? If energy... Wait, if energy conduit is part of a completed circuit? What? Sensory overload, but in a good way. That just sounds like break core again. <laughs> break core is a interesting thing. All these. Meat bot. Meat bot. Meat bot could be fun if you go for tributes. Also, a four cost. Sorry, what? A four cost two three? Hello. <laughs> Let me go fight some of your subordinates then. Oh, wait, there's two chests right here, I think. Ah, it's two of these things. Yeah, I love puzzles. Right, so you're part of the completed circuit, which I'm assuming, like... I don't even know what that does. Oh, wait, I want you because you attack three times. You go... Duh, duh, duh. Oh, wait, and then I want you. Wait, what? Oh, because you're going to hit you instead. Oh, wait, you do zero damage, right. How do the, these fuckers work? Like, if I chain them on my side, will it do anything? Oh, they gain damage when they're part of, like, a chain. Two card packs. Pay one energy to set the power of... <gasps> oh! Oh! That's literally... I still know what breakcore is. Breakcore is like a type of music where it's just random noises and it's funny. It, it's, it's probably okay if you're into that music, but I just don't care for it. That, though... That... Oh, my God. Imagine that synergy. Just being able to guarantee a 6-1. I like the idea of a gamble card because I a lot of... Uh, it reminds me of old Yu-Gi-Oh cards where there's a lot of... Gun? A gun card? Give me the gun card. Okay, you're going to deal one, one back. You'll destroy minions next to you, so you're a liability. Uh, You're fine, because you don't really matter. You will stop an attack, so he can't be running you. Because you're like, if a card would attack, it doesn't. Unless the objective is, like, get this guy killed. Ah, 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 ah. That's what you want to do. You want to kill it, and then that goes through. Booyah. Two card packs. Wow, this is just so generous. Whoa! Okay, so that... That right there is how you make a mage deck, then. That is, like, the mage card. That is, like, the fucking mage card. Not like... It is music, but it's just, like, a lot of shit. It's like Nightcore on steroids. It's like if you got seven Nightcore songs and just laid them on top of each other. There's the Gamba bot. Gamba. Hawk, that's that thing. Circuit, you're another circuit. Other creatures within a circuit completed by buff conduit. Oh my god, so you can build like a full circuit deck where you just do that and then you add fucking Gamba Bot and just win the game. If there was more of him, that would be a bit... Wait, do, does this have cards in it? That would be funny. Ah! Oh, that's the one I wanted, the Curve Hopper. Very nice. Literally good curve. Okay, what else is in this factory then? We have Smilebot. Okay, I kind of get that. Okay, so I need what? Wait, so I can just one, one plus one and that'll be six. I don't know how this works. I'm just clicking buttons. 
The night core and steroids sound slightly accurate to the music, but more the animation brings me joy. That's fair. Hello. I did not mean to challenge this guy. I needed to remake my deck. Yep, so he's playing my cards. Oh, he's playing buff conduit. Oh, it completes the circuit, but it does fucking nothing. Oh, shit, but it's going to gain one attack because of that guy. Okay, I think we do this. So it can just shoot it before it even does anything. You're a nuke bot, which will be funny. Uh, let's place you there as well, just so we can get another... And place you in between. I will remake my deck after this. <gasps> this is where everything goes wrong. <gasps> this is where everything would have gone wrong if I didn't draw my ace monster. Uh, honestly, it'd be really funny to bring out this guy, plop him there, so he just blows up that as a tribute. Wouldn't that be funny? Boom. Boom. Mantis God is still so broken. If you want to give the link so you can make your own judgments, go ahead, I guess. Fuel three. <gasps> Bone boy. You fucking idiot. Oh, I accidentally killed him perfectly. God damn it, I'm stupid. Uh. Get fucking vibe checked, mate. Oh my god, so many machine packs. More circuit packs, more circuit cards. I like the idea of building a circuit deck at this point. Right. Allow me to have a very short listen of it. I will give it the first, like, 20 seconds because I am playing a game. <laughs> Wait, have you not heard of Rockefeller before? Have you never heard of Rockefeller Street? This is like the classic. This is Nightcore, if you read. This literally is Nightcore, by the way. This is Nightcore, by the way. <laughs> this is this is like the original anime meme from like fucking 2010. Like this is a classic Nightcore anime song. This used to be everywhere in memes and shit. Yeah, so Nightcore on... Yeah, this is Nightcore, if you're wondering. God, every time I hear Rockefeller... Rockefeller is a banger, to be fair. But my God, does it make me feel like a boomer? It just gives me back those old days when I was a teenager and used to watch all those, like, anime compilation stuff and it would have Rockefeller Nightcore and I was like, yo. Nightcore, I think, is fine, honestly. Um... I mean, it, it's just speeding up music. It just makes it funky. So I do respect it. What the fuck is that? Oh, so he just dies. He's a free card, but rips. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, but Rockefeller Nightcore, if you want to listen to the... Well, I guess you can listen to the song through the video, but... That's besides the point. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that honestly, thank you for that, because that gave me some good nostalgia and also allowed me to be a boomer of just being like, actually, that's Rockefeller. <laughs> okay, I've actually got a lot of cards here. Um, more puzzles, which I suck at. So I want two force. What, I want like one minus one? No. No. Yes! Shit, you need to actually... Oh, wait, that works. It's plus one, plus one makes three. Okay. One, two, seven, three, gonna run a recipe. Life is what you are, don't you feel that? One, two... One, a st fucking strange, but very ahead of its time, LST. Earthbound. 
I guess Earthbound was kind of like that. Holy shit, nope. How does this even work? Oh, I can cancel one of the spaces. Shit. Wait, no, I need to place this like... Oh, I can place things on anything. Vib Rhythm is a PS1 rhythm game. Yo, damn. PS1 was like the era for like just absolute vibe games. Perhaps the rapper, what you said, like tons of shit, right? Let's clear my deck again. Let's clear my deck and rethink some of my cards. Okay, so first things first, the main card the deck is built around, Mantis God, the best card in the game. Bone Boys, another great card. And then here's where we actually have the main core of the deck. Running just a bunch of these guys because these guys are just instant i like the sound of these guys with the other circuit boys where are the other circuit guys ah these cards together could be interesting oh no actually you know what i'm not running those because those are very high cost those are a cool synergy combo but they're very high risk gamba bot Seems amazing. I It's a shit card, but I love the design philosophy. You're a free card. I love songs in broken English, to be fair. Broken English is just so funny. I think, honestly, we just rock what we were rocking before with some slightly different cards. And then, I think we just rock what we were using before, really. I could add some spice. Oh, wait, this is actually a really good card. Why am I not running you? And you're funny, so screw it. That is an interesting idea, like having this, which goes with this. But it's such a high cost. It's part of a completed circuit, though, which is such an easy thing to actually get. Protein invite is threatening. I mean, that is pretty accurate for some. English. Um, oh, I really want to try running this, so I think I'm gonna run this. And you have to have a few. You have to have quite a few of those cards. That brings me to 25 cards, and at that point, I'm never seeing any of the cards in my deck, unless I start removing some of the other cards. Mm. This deck does not seem good, but I'm still going to try it just to see if it ever works. Because if, if I had three of each of the circuits, I would be playing them. Because three and three guarantees the shit. Alright, these two are going to create a circuit. Like, th this guy's deck is going to be about creating circuits. So, we preferably want to just defend, and then we're going to knock them out. Oh, I see what you do. Uh, right, we're, we're going to... We're going to probably bomb one of these cards then. Like, I see the whole idea behind the circuit, but it seems so unnecessary, really. I could knock out one of my cards and then... Well, you generate a skeleton. You're not even that good yet. Also, the tempo changes a Rufus for it being a rhythm game. Nice. Gotta respect that shit. Gotta respect it when the rhythm game fights back. Okay, so that's just a free... I could actually do some cheeky shit right there. I could replace you. And then... Bang. Bang. Clear the board. Right, do you complete a circuit? You do nothing. 
Hmm. This is going to do... Does that actually deal damage? Okay, so you have to hit a target. So let's just keep going. Just keep dealing some damage. I could shoot. You know, we're just gonna we're just gonna go. We're just gonna swing again. Bang. Okay, and then I want to tribute off my own cards to try and just generate a bunch of resources for Skeleton King. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. We just try and generate as many resources as we can for the Skeleton King, and then just swing for game. So like, we kill you. We kill you. Uh, we summon you. We kill you. Kill you. We summon you. And we summon you. We kill both of you. Uh, sure, we summon you and we kill you. And then we go bonk. And then we go bonk. 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 <laughs> That's what you want, baby. Surprisingly, this deck worked, but it just didn't actually do anything. And he's just killed himself. Kind of cringe. Right. I'm I'm going back to the Bunga stack. I'm going back to the Bunga stack. Right. I'm going to restart because fuck this whole energy conduit thing. It's a funny idea. It doesn't work, game. You're cringe. I'm right. Your cringe game, I'm right. You don't know how to make a deck. Uh, literally L plus ratio plus bozo. Uh, this is a really... Wait, what the fuck deck have I built here? This is a shit deck. What am I doing with that deck? Give me, give me more tribute fodder, baby. Give me... Give me... Oh, give me another bear. You know what? Let's not have two bears. Let's just have a bird. Field mice could be good though, for more resources. You know what? I like this. I I I I, I like the look of this potentially. <laughs> How does math work? Right, we don't want you. We don't want you, surely. Shit. No, wait. We can replace you with a plus. We can replace you with a plus, and then we can just kill you. Oh wait, shit! You go there. Bingo! Okay, we need five. I'm guessing we just want to kill you. I'm guessing that's the basic gist. We can make you a zero. No. We need to make you a minus one. Make you a zero. Shit. You a plus one? Yeah! Okay, I was right. My favorite songs are Polaroid, Laugh and Peace, Universe Turns, and v Vibe Rhythm Blues, or Vib Rhythm Blues. I am stupid. It could be either. Yo, we in the fucking machine factory. Give me another card pack. Give me more good shit. You know what? That's a good card. The rest I don't care about. I think I've got all the cards pretty much. No, it's still nothing good. Wait, where do I go from here? Oh, is this who I need to talk to, this machine? Oh, hello. Mate, what are you in for? You're asking me to take a dive, but I can't accommodate you, mate. You got special orders in it, looking to drag something special. We can do it, I. Maybe give you something we'll win. But you can't be taking a dive, PL3, or understate. Un 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 I've only heard it pronounced in the second way you pronounced it. Vib Ribbon Blues. Wow, we actually have a really bad starting hand. But they're literally not doing anything. I'll give you this shot. Here, take your pack. Oh! Whoa! Whoa, that's really good. No for you, I need a contract. What is that? 
Previous girl rolled me big for this one. Off we are. Okay, I guess I'm going back up. Hold on. Okay. That new card I got, though. That is a big card. I guess we can try and fight PO3. I don't know if he'll allow it yet. Or if I'm still... Unless I had, like, to do a puzzle that I missed. Hello. Give me that deck again. Wow. You beat them all with that? Maybe there are some synergies I missed. Let's go. We'll do one attempt of this and then I'll head off. Yeah, it's basically they're going to rotate. Uh, so I'm going to put you to block... Hold on, hold on, hold on. What card you got? Strike in a point, even if there is a creature opposing it. Oh, so he... Oh, that's flying. Circuit. Die. Let's kill... Let's just block the... Um, drone, then. Oh, it's at the end of both our turns the rotation happens. Okay. Well, I know what I'm doing. The strongest monster in my deck. Go forth. Big fucker. <laughs> probably use a little camera, click samples, laugh, piece, TV, spice a bit. Uh, this is probably the most normal song in it. Ah, that's fair. Ah, oh, shit. He's going to get my Mantis God, though. So I need to prepare for when he gets my Mantis God. But it doesn't matter, because soon I shall defeat you by your own fucking it's fullness. Uh, I could just do damn Fuck it. Mm, get that damage. Ow, prick. You're still going to get hit. You still take the damage. Uh, I think we do a bit of cheeky monkey. Bring you out. Kill you. Gain advantage. Well, you're going to rotate, so I need to actually be really careful. I need something to kill you. My only real good idea is summon you, get me my energy back, tribute you to bring out this fucker. Then, oh, I could have just placed you there. Actually, no, because this works still, because I'm going to boost you. And then go. And then this rotates into a favorable position. Yeah, this is a favorable position for me. Especially with these cards coming in. Boom! Well, anyway, go sleep now, Chia. Have a good one, mate. Okay, I'm gonna kill that anyway. That is, again, still really good position. Right, what's your gimmick then? <laughs> okay, this could be rough. But we have that fucker there. So we can just rock this. You're gonna be annoying. Moves into that space. I don't think summoning counts. Shit, it does count. Uh, I guess we just have to swing for... Oh, wait, I win right here. Uh, I can't deal more damage, though. They literally killed themselves, I'm going to be honest. They, they literally killed themselves. They shifted all the cards to I won. That was not an earned victory. Guess you won. Oh, pack! Oh, that's the magic card in case I ever want to go over to magic. A second one. Give me more of that five cost guy. Damn it. I want more of that five cost guy so badly. No, my battery's dead. Bastard. I was playing that game. I wanted to video game. Ah! Yes, we gotta watch through these before I end my stream. God damn it. Well, what you got? I think I've just gotta send it. 
To whom it may concern. To whom it may concern. Yeah, that is, yeah, try and go for like a... Hello there. Hello there. Uh, that, that's perfect, actually. Good day, good day. Dutch good day, good day. The fuck? So it was a Why great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of inscription. Mm. I think maybe one of my fans printed me and buried a copy in the woods near my house. Oh, I see. I get you. Yeah. I have not been able to find any record of this game. Perhaps it's some kind of elaborate hoax. I mean, it's a game that works, so you got to respect that. The game works. Any trace of this game? Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. At least it appears professionally made. It does, honestly. True. Thank you. That would be hard. Give me money. Okay. Good enough. I think I, I I can respect that. Yo, what's he got in the background? Oh, he's just got more. Is that, I thought it was a GameCube controller. No, it's like a discount Xbox 360 controller. Hey, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this. Well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do. So I'm hoping someone can help me out here. Did anyone ever hmm? play an inscription video game? Me. I did. Hear about it? Me. I'm talking about that vintage one set card game I opened packs for last week. Me. I, I played it. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um... I, I think it. I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. I played it. I'm I no, I have it, you fucker. I myself playing it, and uh, it's weird. Guys. I played it. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage. I played it, though. Can someone please prove me wrong? Please tell me someone has a copy of this I game. Played I have the been game. looking online for days, and I cannot find. I reached out to the publishers, hoping maybe but, but, they would get but back. But I to played the but game. Call back. I got you beautiful viewers. Hopefully they got something. Am I not? Um, do I not count? That's it. I don't want to count. That's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so I'm much. Cry because he doesn't include and, me. Um, oh yeah. Uh, what the fuck is the card? It's what the fuck is the b -b 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 Carter? This video is gonna break. Get fucked. However, it was indeed from the description of proprietary James Cena hardware who has been so patiently dealt under the completed fraud and abuse act. True. The hardware will be considered stolen and will True. in a reasonable time frame. Please carefully pack True. the package. True. Please chicken noodles in front of the box. You may mail the package at a local post. Mail it. Fuck it. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please be Yeah, exactly. Don't be a dumbass. Give them the Assuming video game. This should me just sitting there like hand the video game over. Hand what it over. Fuck? Yeah. Give me the video game. That one's... What's next? I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. She came to my door yesterday and I didn't answer. This time I'm going to record it. Good choice. That's fucking... Can you, like, fix your camera? If you're going to do a recording with it, can you, like, actually yeah. fix it? No, I don't know anything about that. Inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. They know. Really? Because, um, apparently you emailed us about it. Get fucked! You are a little Carter, right? Yes. Oh. <laughs> you know the luckycartergmail.com? Yeah, Fuck. Uh, you know what? That's, uh, I am Luke Carter, but that's not my email address. Uh, I just noticed because I've seen your videos. Get oh. fucked! Wow, you're oh. actually getting out fucking walking. gamed, kid. Listen, uh. How Literally, you know I, I know yeah. your address. Man got fucking docked. How did you get past the side gate? Oh, like, oh! Get called out! <laughs> okay, Luke. Um. Oh! I'm going to give you my business card. And if you remember anything, anything at all. Literally, get. Involved. Like, yeah. fucking called out. Just like, do. dude, I know where you live. Like, get fucked. 
What the fuck? No. And you got this one because you want just error. Hey there, card gamers. I'm Yo. Carter. Hey there, Pat gamers. Welcome video. to my favorite Today let's I'm play. Secrets of Legendaria. Ooh. Look into that sweet, sweet foil. I'm looking forward to this pack opening. This one's just going to go at the end, isn't it? It's literally just going to crash. Orthon's going to knock at the door. Like, he's going to go and open it, and then someone's going to fucking knock at the door, and he's going to just piss himself. I would. Fuck! I fucked up my gaming. Yeah, exactly. And then that was just... Uh... Gaming! Bro! <laughs> Right, I'm gonna exit here though. Last say three seconds ago. Right, hope you did enjoy the stream though. I enjoyed this quite a bit. This bit's actually quite fun. I think a lot of people said they didn't like chapter two. I actually like chapter two quite a bit. Uh, like actually building and properly structuring a deck. I think it's just because a lot of people didn't expect it, so they didn't know like how to do the synergies and stuff. But I think it's actually really fun. But yes, I'll be continuing this on Friday. So I hope you lot, uh, if you want to come, feel free. But yes, I hope you lot. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Oh god, I nearly burned. <laughs>